We've seen how Scotland is viewed by foreigners, but what does it mean to Scottish people? Sarah O'Connor and David Thorley interviewed an array of Scots, asking each what Scotland means to them. Baroness Helena Kennedy makes sure to clarify that she is from Scotland when abroad, despite living in London. Her upbringing in Glasgow sowed the seeds of her commitment to social justice, and this has made her incredibly proud to be Scottish. For Charlie Reed, the singer of The Proclaimers, it's home, identity, family history, and a sense of belonging. He adds, I wouldn't say it was better than any other country, I'd just say it was my country. Similarly, Sir Menzies Campbell, the leader of the Liberal Democrats, describes himself as a Scot in heart and head, by birth, inclination, and temperament. Scotland has deep-seated roots that strongly influence the lives of its people. From getting four seasons in one day to having the best sense of humor in the world, Scotland is clearly loved for little nuances that make it unique. Christina Slater, a bed and breakfast owner on the Isle of Lewis, believes Gaelic is the most expressive language there is, and to her, Scotland is firmly associated with the language. Actress Elaine Smith loves the fact that Scottish people don't always agree and encourages the continuation of argument. Scots appreciate these small, relatively insignificant factors of their culture as they make Scotland special for those who call it home. Perhaps percussionist Dame Evelyn Glennie puts it best. Scotland means rugged beauty, hard-working people, high standards of education, and individualism, while maintaining respect for its history and mark on the world. It's a small territory with a big welcoming heart. I don't think I could summarize my two months here better. From entertainers to political figures to waiters, Scotland provides a foundation that is invaluable to the lives of Scots. As a nation, it is revered and cherished by its people who love what it means to be Scottish.